fellow explorers, we are back today with another walking tour, bringing you a walking tour of another California beach city. Today, we're going to be exploring the Huntington Beach Pier along with the Huntington Beach Downtown District, Huntington's Main Street. I'm Chris. This is a little explorer. This is Yellow Productions. We do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And we are starting this walk from the end of the Huntington Beach Pier. And we're going to be walking to of the pier and then we'll be walking down Main Street talking to you about what we see as we go. Now this pier is one of the longest piers on the west coast of the United States. It was originally built in the early 1900s so it's over a hundred years old it's been expanded over the years to be the length that it is and this is definitely one in addition to just being the longest also one of the most popular piers to visit in california last week we did a santa monica walking tour and so we thought we would bring you huntington beach this week now on the left here we've got let's go fishing this is a bait and tackle shop where you can buy bait and tackle you can also rent fishing rods so if you wanted to go fishing and fishing is really popular on this pier you can rent fishing rods for six dollars for an hour or fifteen dollars for all day and they tell you some of the things you can uh, buy as bait are anchovies shrimp mackerel mussels sardines and squid by the way all the way at the end of the pier where we started this is a Ruby's restaurant. It's kind of a 1950s themed diner. It is uh, popular for hamburgers and sandwiches and that sort of stuff. Really great view. Indoor dining is currently closed. They were open to go and they had about four tables outside for people to sit at. Now, Huntington Beach is known as Surf City USA, and being called Surf City USA, the pier is definitely one of the best places to watch the surfing action. I'm shooting this in the winter, December 18th, Friday. It's currently 11 a.m., so there aren't as many people in the water as there would typically be on perhaps a summer weekend but uh, it's known as Surf City USA because the waves are surfable pretty much every day of the year. Now it's also kind of neat the pier has a lot of these benches that you can sit on to admire the view and they've all got the HB logo on them for the holidays. They've got some snowflakes that light up at night. Huntington Beach as a city has nine and a half miles of sandy beach and uh, Huntington Beach to the north if we look out this way it's kind of a gloomy day so you can't see that way all that well but in kind of the haze this way is Long Beach Rancho Palos Verdes you can also see some uh, like oil um, oil platforms out there Huntington Beach has a lot of oil in it uh, and the rights are currently owned by the Chevron company that operates a lot of pumps pumping areas in Huntington Beach if you walk around the rest of the city or you take a hike in Bolsa Chica you will find these oil pumps going at it now if we look to the south and there's some people enjoying the bench right there looking to the south if we go south from huntington beach then we go into newport beach and then we go into laguna beach there's a couple more piers in newport beach if you were so inclined to explore those they've got a big lifeguard tower up here on the pier to keep the surfers and everybody safe Huntington Beach's lifeguard trucks are provided by Toyota. This video is not sponsored by Toyota, but you can just see Toyota emblazoned on there. It's really popular for car companies to sponsor lifeguards, and they're not yellow like uh, maybe Santa Monica is, but they're red. And they let you know here that Huntington Beach does have a fair number of stingrays. If so, you should call a paramedic. And they also show you how busy Huntington Beach can be in the summer on July 4th. Take a look at that picture and notice that the beach that we see today is 
much less busy than that. Now, the water temperature today is probably about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The air temperature is about 62 degrees. There's about 15 or 20 mile per hour winds. So if you hear some wind in the microphone, it's a fairly windy day today which makes it really great to buy a kite. And there's a couple more pier shops that we're coming up on, and one of them is a kite shop, popular place to fly a kite. Now, everybody knows if you watch my Santa Monica Pier Walk that one of my favorite places to stop and look off the pier is right about where the lifeguard towers and trash cans are, because I just love to see those things all lined up. And if we look that way, we can see a surfer coming in on one of those waves right shooting the pier look at that by the way i think they advise that you don't shoot the pier and if you're not familiar with the term shooting the pier that's when you ride the wave and go through the concrete pylons of the pier definitely definitely do that at your own risk not at my risk they've got these coin operated distant viewing telescopes i, don't, I can never really see out of those things i don't know or if you just carry a good video camera with a um, 20, right, zoom lens, then that works probably just as good as some of those telescopes. Uh, if we hear the little explorer a little bit in the background, it's a little bit windy and she does not necessarily love the wind on this pier, but she's definitely being a champ right back there. By the way, if occasionally I sound muffled as I get close to people, I'll pull that up, but right now walking in the middle of this pier, we are pretty far people. All right, we're at the kite shop and you can see it's windy. So these are going pretty good. They've got Christmas themed ones right here. Uh, you can also pick up flags. In addition to kites and flags, it's also a toy store, so you can pick up toys. The one on the right, this shop, is the official Surf City Huntington Beach store. And so you can pick up all the Huntington Beach emblazoned merchandise. And they've also got a picture up here to show you about the US Open of Surfing. Huntington Beach is a very popular destination for surfing contests, and they generally have them right here at the pier. Surfing contests, volleyball contests, marathons. Uh, Huntington Beach in Orange County is where a lot of those things are at. Oh, there's, a, there's one more thing I wanted to show you at the kite shop, in addition to the dogs right here, but just like Santa Monica and all good beach towns have Zoltar where you can get your fortune. This guy just takes dollar bills. In Santa Monica, Zoltar took credit cards. And in Santa Monica, Zoltar also spoke Spanish. This one just speaks English. Okay, continuing our walk down the pier. If we look over here to the left, there's a nice park area right next to the pier. Uh, great for picnics. There's a tiered seating area there as well. To the left is this place called Zach's, which you can rent a bicycle, you can rent a Surrey, uh, you can get something to eat, you can get some lemonade out there. And yeah, we'll, we'll look off this way for to talk about this other thing. And I mentioned that there's nine and a half miles of Sandy Beach in Huntington Beach, which also uh, is fronted by a really wide bicycling, skating, surfing, walking sidewalk. It's really a great place to ride a bike. OC Girl and I like to come down here and rent uh, tandem bikes. There's a lot of bicycle rental places, not just at the pier, but all along Huntington Beach. Though at the pier, you'll find most of them. There's a few people, one group out here playing volleyball today. On busy summer weekends, you'll find tons of people playing volleyball. As we get to the foot of the pier, there's a sign for rubies at the end to tell you, come on in, they are open. Um, here we've got Duke's Huntington Beach. Duke's is a famous Hawaiian-themed restaurant. Uh, Duke's is on the upper level. On the lower level is Sandy's Beach Shack. Now, the current regulations in California is that things are just open for... Um, to go, no indoor, outdoor dining. So as we get to Main Street, we'll probably see some restaurants might be doing some different things down there. Looking a little bit closer at this park, you can see more people enjoying the warm winter sun here in California. 
Now, as we're right here at the foot of the pier, this uh, they call Pier Plaza, and in this big open space, on weekends they often have farmers markets, farmers markets, or artist markets. Uh, people often ask me, Chris, where do you park? Today I parked in this lot right next to the pier. Uh, in the winter, it is $2 per hour. In the summer, it's usually $15 all day. All right, let's go ahead and make it across this intersection so that you're not standing here looking at a street for a whole long time. We are crossing Pacific Coast Highway. This is the main coastal route that runs all along the California coast. And now we're here on Main Street. By the way, we'll just take a look back at the pier from where we came. Okay, that's where we walked on. This is one of those crossings that like, when the lights turn to cross, it's just for people to cross. And then when cars go, cars go. So I think that's a way of having less people get run over. Now, because it's pandemic time, a lot of these shops have brought their merchandise outside. So you can stroll along and do a lot of shopping outside. Uh, I'm standing in front of Jack's, but the other one is also Huntington Surf and Sport. These are the two big surf shops in uh, Huntington Beach, and they're right at the foot of the pier. So you can get, you can get surfboards, you can get wetsuits, or you can just get your surf-inspired t-shirts. Now, to promote uh, masks and social distancing, they've got these signs here that say, Masks Up Surf City, and that surfer is wearing a Huntington Beach face mask. That's very interesting. Okay, now, uh, coming up here, we've got an outpost of Wahoo's Fish Tacos. This is kind of a cross between Brazilian food and Mexican food. Now, I mentioned you'll see people dining outside. I mentioned that restaurants are only open for dining and takeout. Uh, and so they got a big sign that says open for takeout. And they've got some tables that I guess they're like, well, I guess you could eat there. We're not gonna chase you away. That's what you'll often find going on here at a lot of the things, Huntington Beach. Here we have Sock Harbor, and uh, they have an interesting sign that says, we cannot let people in our store without masks. If they do, they will shut us down and we can not afford to be shut down. I'm sure they've had a lot of arguments from people about why won't you let me in? Uh, and they're like, well, because we would like to stay in business. A lot of gift shops here. You can pick up sweatshirts. You can pick up boogie boards if you didn't have one. Hey, you can even pick up one of these sand pail sets. Our little explorer has one of those sand pails. Uh, okay, now the second block of Main Street is actually quite interesting to accommodate outdoor dining and to accommodate social distancing, they've actually closed off this part of the street to automobiles, and it's just pedestrian only. So we'll go ahead and walk through the middle of this, because I think it's just kind of cool to walk down a street that's usually open to cars. A lot of these places, uh, they're, they're just not open because they're... Um, they're like bars, and bars can't be open. Uh, the sign there says, Beer Company Restaurant open daily at 11 a.m. Clearly, clearly not so much. I'm sure they are just prepared to reopen and redo dining uh, once outdoor dining reopens in California. Uh, there are a few restaurants that are open and letting people sit out here. Though often the procedure that a lot of these places are doing is you go up and order um, at like somebody at the restaurant or the window and then they just don't, they don't chase you off if you go sit in the tables that are out there. It's the holidays and so here's the Huntington Beach Main Street Christmas tree in front of the clock tower. This building is also a very large parking structure. So if you're looking to park, you can park there. They've kind of decorated some of these pylons. I don't really know what that decoration is all that much. Uh, here we've got some people 
enjoying their lunch outside in to-go containers. As you can see, it's, it's clearly to-go. Um, we're going to come by here on the left in a little bit to walk down this other street. There's the Orange County Barber's Parlor. Open if you want to get a haircut. There's a boba tea shop right here, the tea zone. And all these places that are bars that are really just like hard closed. Now we'll head down the third block of Main Street. And they've got uh, the Huntington Beach Post Office is right here. Always exciting to know where the post office is for sure. They let you know, Surf City, stroll, Main Street, shop, dine, play, to let you know all the things that are down here. And uh, here, there's less outdoor dining because this is the post office parking lot. There's a few little um, outdoor shopping carts out here. They open a little bit later. Most of these restaurants open at noon, so I'm still a little too early for that. So we're gonna go ahead and walk back this way on Main Street, because I wanna show you the street just to the right of it. There's an outpost of Starbucks coffee here. And uh, now we're going down the sidewalk where we walked before, just on the sidewalk side instead of the street side. And this is the uh, Dos Toros. It says patio seating and takeaway only, although they're, they're hard closed. They don't look like they're opening any time today. We're gonna make a right turn down this little pedestrian alley here. And usually this is all pretty lively. As you can see, it's not lively today. Huntington Beach, because it's usually really busy with cars, a lot of bikes, and so there's a lot of bicycle parking. We're gonna turn down this alley. I'm following the signs for the Bobasaur milk tea boba coffee slushy let's go down here uh, Huntington Beach also goes by the nickname HB as you saw on those benches on the pier it's also home to the International Surfing Museum and uh, Huntington Beach's original name was called Pacific City there's a new shopping mall uh, that opened and is called Pacific City owing to that original name of Huntington Beach Here's the Bulbasaur uh, milk tea shop. And they let you know they are dedicated and open on Christmas Day. So if you're looking for boba tea, you can check this place out. I've not drank it, but it's uh, one of two boba tea shops that I've seen walking around here today. Uh, there's a amazing coconut ice cream store. And then just to the left of the amazing coconut ice cream store, someplace I have eaten, it's pretty decent if you're looking for Hawaiian type poke, is the North Shore Poke Company. Although I say it's Hawaiian style poke, they're really more like um, California poke bowls. So it's definitely a California variety of poke, including poke tacos and poke nachos. If anybody from Hawaii is watching this, they're probably like, we don't do that. But you can see it has a cool Hawaiian vibe inside. None of those tables are available to sit in. That's to go only. As I did this walk before this video, one of the things I walked by that I wanted to show you to show how dedicated they are here to their outdoor table service is this particular place. What this is called Cruisers Pizza Bar and Company. They built this gigantic plywood structure and it has televisions up there. There are televisions up like, there's probably like 12 flat screen televisions they've got in here. They lock them up at night with padlocks. Uh, you can see one of them's gone. I assume they took it down. Hopefully it didn't get stolen from them. Uh, but They've definitely gone all out for their seating. This old brown cool wooden building is the Huntington Beach Police Substation, which in front of it, if you need change for the parking meter, has a kind of tiki themed change machine to give you coins for the parking meters. Most of the parking meters also take credit cards if you have those with you. 
something I do like about Huntington Beach because they have a lot of tourists. They put up these signs to tell you where things are, the Surfing Walk of Fame, the Promenade, that Pacific City shopping mall I talked about. I will not be walking through that in this video, uh, but that is kind of a cool place to check out. And it's just, if you look down this street and you see there's a big hotel back there, that's where Pacific City is. A lot of restaurants uh, and shops in there. This is a recently new development uh, in Huntington Beach for the Shore Break Hotel. There's an outpost, there was an outpost of Bruxy here, which has uh, chicken and waffle sandwiches. They have gone out of business uh, when the pandemic hit, unfortunately, or they closed and never reopened. I, I don't think they are likely to reopen. The hotel's not that busy because hotels are not really open for people outside of the state to stay at currently. Uh, but this looks like it'd be a pretty neat hotel to stay in because it is right by the beach. And then uh, coming up here, We've got a grilled cheese shop called Greater Grilled Cheese. If you want to get some grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, you can check that out. And then this will take us back to Pacific Coast Highway. Essentially, you saw, well, crossing that when we crossed from the Huntington Beach Pier. Now, if your travels bring you to Huntington Beach, you know what to see on the pier, where you can get your bait, where you can get your kites, you know, where you can check out Wahoos, and now you know where to park. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy watching some of our uh, little explorers fall asleep. She's gotten tired. You might enjoy watching some of our other walking tours. You can click right here for our playlist on walking tours. One of them you'll find in there is the Santa Monica Pier and a whole bunch of others. Well, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you over in that video.